Hey love, so it's your girl April and today's video is of course on this makeup look that I am rocking today. I decided to do some olive color eyes. However, this is more or less like a beauty supply slash drugstore makeup look. And first time ever for me ever, ever, ever using any of the Iman products. So I will be featuring that in this video. This is their clay press foundation along with their, well it's their clay illuminous press foundation and their clay medium press powder. So I do have two colors here. They're both different. One is the illuminous and one is the um, pressed powder. So I will be using these. This one gives me more or less like a yellowish tone. So I only kind of use this on my eyelids just to even the tone out because it's kind of a yellow color. I'm also going to be using some of Iman's eyeshadow sticks. I do have six colors. So you can basically use them as an eyeshadow primer or you can also use them as an eyeshadow. I will be using this one here which is more or less a pearlized color. Along Along with that, there are some swatches that I have on the back of my hand for each one of them. Um, the first two are more or less shimmery, and then the other ones kind of go on like a matte color. I do like the black one a lot, so this the black one is like really easy to use, especially if you want to do like an under eye smoky or an over top smoky. The black one is a really, really amazing dark, rich color. So yes, if you're looking for like a really great eyeshadow pencil or jumbo pencil, then I will highly suggest the Iman Black one right here. Also, I'm going to be featuring some drugstore or beauty supply store colors as well. Um, this one here is the Absolute New York brand, which I do like a lot. Their colors are very rich and pigmented for it to be like a beauty supply store brand. They do have some really pretty great color payoffs. Along with that, I'm going to be using their bronzer and their foundation, which is more or less, it's not a full coverage foundation, but I do mix this in with one of my foundations. So it gives me like really great coverage. These you can get really inexpensive at beauty supply stores. These I did get from divatrust.com along with the wig that I'm rocking. And I probably will have the video up for this. If not already, then I will post a link below. And this is the It's a Wig brand and it's called Montessa, which is more or less like the sister wig uh, to the uh, Vanessa brand robust wig and I do have it pinned back today because it's super hot out here but yes I did do this look um, some of my eye look with this palette right here really pretty and rich vibrant colors if you are looking for some really affordable makeup then just definitely check out the absolute brand and along with that I'm also going to be using one of my favorites which is the poreless face defender boost by Mally this one here is really great. You can get this like off a home shopping network or what have you. But I like to use this if I don't want to put any makeup on. Like if I don't want to put foundation on, my skin is kind of like dry looking. Not really dry, but kind of bland looking. So just to um, give it a little boost and a little bit of color, I do use this. As you can see, anybody can use this one. It doesn't go by a specific color. There is no specific colors. Once you put it on, it kind of like melts in your skin and just boosts your skin. So you don't really see like a color. It kind of like gives your skin a boost. I really can't explain it, but you will see the difference if you are just wearing nothing on your face. If you're wearing bare skin, then you can definitely see the difference. And I will do a more detailed video with that in future videos. Also, there are a lot of different brands that I'm going to be featuring. It's one of them, which I'm really excited about. If you guys have not followed me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, then make sure you do. This is the Extreme Lips, and this is my makeup collaboration line with Guru, um, Guru Glam Makeup. So there are six colors in this collection, and I was able to choose each color that I wanted, pick every color that I wanted as well as that, as name each color. So I will be showcasing one of my lipsticks in this, and I will post the information below where you can get that lipstick color from. But yeah, all the other brands I will list below as well, so stay tuned for the video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright love, so the first thing that I'm using on my face is the Garnier Cooley Bright or Bright Up Daily Moisturizer. This is a really good moisturizer and it smells real good. And the purple stuff that I'm applying is the Absolute New York Flawless Face Facial Primer, which is really inexpensive. You can get that at basically any beauty supply store or divatrust.com. And just to adhere my eyeshadows, I'm going to be using Milani's Eyeshadow Primer, which you can also get from any drugstore. Now, the first thing that I'm going to be applying to my eyelids is the Iman Luminous Foundation in color Clay 1. So being that it's a yellowish kind of tone, I'm just going to apply that to my lids to even out the skin tone of my lids. I'm going to go into the Morphe palette, which is the 35OM palette, and I'm going to be using that off-white color just to brighten up underneath my eyebrows. I love this palette. It is nothing but matte colors, and they are very, very highly pigmented 
eyeshadows. So if you're looking for something that's very warm tone and fall like colors, give that one a try. Now just to brighten up my lids for my eyeshadow that I'm going to adhere, I'm going to use the Iman eyeshadow stick and I'll place the name and color below. And this is a really great consistency. They are retractable pencils like I said, so yeah. They are also available at any Walgreens and drugstores that are in your area. Now into that Morphe palette again, I'm going to use more or less like this beige, it's very light brown, kind of reminds me of Soft Brown by MAC, and I'm going to use this as one of my transition colors. And I am using a Morphe brush to apply that, and more or less I'm going to show me just applying one eye lid just to speed up the video some. And now into that same palette, I'm going to go into kind of like that rustic orange rustic brown which is a beautiful color. And with this one, I'm using my matte brush. This is more or less like a crease brush. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that in. And then I'm going to use this beautiful olive color green, which is also by Absolute New York. And I did get this from Diva Trust. These shadows, are these shadows are really, really pigmented. They are really inexpensive, but do you see the color green? Very pretty. And thanks to the clouds outside, it's kind of like going back and forth over the clouds, which is kind of changing the color of my video. So I do apologize about that. I more or less do like to do my videos during the daytime because I love the natural sunlight or just natural light in general. But being that it was kind of cloudy out today when I decided to film that, it wasn't helping me any. So I'm just going to take that and blend that green in and on top of that I'm just going to go back into that rustic color brown in the Morphe palette and line my lids with eyeliner by Black Radiance. This is their black gel eyeliner which I do not like. It is really really kind of like, honestly, it's kind of crappy to me. So I decided to use the LA Colors liquid eyeliner which is only a dollar and yes I do love that. Now to Put, um, put my face on. I'm going to be using the um, Absolute New York's uh, Flawless HD Foundation in the color Almond. Along with that, one of my favorite foundations, which is the Artisty In Americana Foundation. You do need to blend a different type of BB cream or so forth with the Americana because it's very, very thick and it gives you full coverage but you do need to blend something in with it. So I decided to use the Absolute New York foundation with it. And as for these brushes, I do like them. They are kind of awkward to hold, but I don't like the entire set. I just basically like to use the facial portion of those brushes uh, because they do give really great coverage, especially when you're doing your foundation. But as for eyes, I wouldn't really use those brushes. Now to highlight underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using Hard Candy's Glamouflage um, Foundation. There really isn't too many colors for women of color with this particular foundation color line. So I just use it as a highlight. It really, really works well. And yeah, I was listening to Rihanna. So to darken my, uh, my lashes, I'm going to be using Essence Triple Black Mascara along with Remmel's 24 Hour Super Pro mascara. I do wear individuals so that is the reason why my lashes are a little bit longer and you don't see me applying them. And I'm also going to be blending in the highlight foundation by Hard Candy with one of these smaller brushes. And like I said they're kind of awkward to use so yeah I'm really not like a huge fan of them. So the heck with that it is going back to the Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge. I will tell you this much this Beauty Blender Sponge is the bomb. Okay. So let's just beat our faces. Beat, beat, beat. Now to set my highlight, I'm going to be using the Ruby Kisses Banana Highlight or Setting Powder. And on top of that, I'm going to be using Elf's and Black Opal's Cream Foundation Sticks. They're actually both the exact same color, but one is cheaper. Elf is a lot cheaper, so if you want to go on the cheaper side, then make sure you check out Elf. Other than that, they're both the exact same consistency, exact same color, and I just wanted to show you guys that in the video. So, the one that I'm using throughout the video now is the e.l.f. one. I kind of like the e.l.f. one a little bit better because it's not as greasy as the Black Opal. Now, just for a little color, I'm going to be using the Absolute New York bronzer, and this is also available at DivaTrust.com. These products are really inexpensive, but they are really, really great products. 
and thanks to the sun it just comes and goes and it's kind of like changing the color of my video but you know what we're gonna work through this just underneath my eyelids to brighten up underneath my eyelids and give my eyelids some depth or dimension my waterline I'm going to be using uh, some of the Morphe palette along with that I'm also going to be using some of the absolute New York eyeshadow quad that I did recently use which was from the green and I'm going to be using that kind of frosted color white and the bronzer color I'm just going to use also kind of like that copperish red color as well. Just give my eyes some depth, dimension, and also to still keep them kind of looking neutral but a little bit of glammed up. And also for my lower lashes, I'm just going to apply my Essence Triple Black Mascara. Bring those lower lashes out, make them pop. And yeah, I had to take a breather. Now to set my whole face, I'm going to be using the Mom Press Powder in Clay Medium. And this is more of a lighter shade, and I do like it. It does set your makeup very, very well. And if you could tell, this is one of my favorite brushes. I use this all the time. Now into this, which is, has become my favorite, this is the Mali Poreless Face Defender Boost. Oh my gosh, this stuff will kind of like wake your skin up. It gives your face, your skin tone like a beautiful color. And yes, just a little bronze. So I decided to use the Revolution Vivid Bronzer and the Revolution Vivid Highlighter and Golden Lights. I really wasn't seeing any color from this highlight. So I decided to go a little bit further and use something much, much cheaper, which is the Clean Colors in Lush Petal. This stuff is a lot cheaper, and yeah, you can get this from like Shop Miss A, beauty supply stores, basically anywhere. Now, the one expensive product besides my Americana Ardency Foundation is the Too Faced Lip Injection. I love this stuff. It's, this as well is not cheap either. The L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray is like $14 at Target, and I've seen it at Walgreens for $13. Bucks. I mean, for $16, $17, bucks, okay? really really expensive now the item that I just used on my hairline is called top it which just is a hair building fiber and it basically fills in my thin edges or if you have balding spots it will do that as well I'm going to apply some of the lipstick by Iman and this is a very pretty color it's more or less kind of like a tangerine-ish kind of color to me more of very warm color tones, but I decided to put my own twist on it. And I'm gonna be using my lip lipstick line. This is called Gemini, and it's more or less like a matte color, but this is kind of like my signature color. I love for my lips to look like this. Very, very pretty color. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Make sure you check the description bar for all the info. And as always, stay diva and divalicious. And I guess I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Thank you.